Bonjour, Bonjour YouTube. Today we are in Melun. This is a capital of the department of Cinema, which is just the south of Paris. This city dates back to Roman times, and we are here today to go and check out the architectural gems of this beautiful, small, but fantastic city. So, on y va. On y va. So behind me is Eglise Saint Aspect. This church is uh, built in um, Gothic, flamboyant Gothic style, and it was built by Jean de Felin. Same architect, same Parisian architect who built the tower Tour Saint Jacques that you can see on Rue Rivoli. Uh, the, the Eglise was built in the 16th century. The story, the history of this Eglise is a little bit traumatic so, so to speak because it's missing the um, the tower the bell tower like that right there is missing the spire it was um, demolished destroyed during the american bombing in the liberation of uh, mula during the second world war and um, so the um, the spire was destroyed the um, organ was destro was destroyed as well but uh, the church itself was restored and it's extremely unique because the church um, has the layout that is unusual compared to other churches. Normally they are in cross, but this one is a little bit unusual. It's a little bit, um, it's strange. Uh, it's unusual shape. Um, this church is called Santa Spe because of the Santa Spe. He basically was sent to this area of France in the sixth century. And he was basically Christianizing this area of the country. This quartier is considered to be one of the oldest quartier. Actually, it is the oldest quartier of Mula. Um, we will later see the oldest street remaining in the city. Let's go and have a look. We just reached to Class San Bartolome, and behind me you can see a bell tower, which used to be church before, but unfortunately during the War of Religion. It was completely destroyed and then the town of Milan bought the bell tower and in 1858 they started the restoration. One additional cool thing about this place is that Paul Cézanne used to live right there in that house. He lived there for one year. Now we are at National Gendarmerie Museum. Unfortunately, because of COVID restrictions, all the museums are closed right now. And in this museum, you can see the heritage of Gendarmerie and it's open to public. Before, it used to be open to the public before, but now it's, as I said before, it's now closed. But for now, we can appreciate the building from the outside. We've reached Hotel de Ville. The building is quite new. It was uh, built in the 19th century. The previous building was destroyed. Uh, behind it is a beautiful park and um, it's one of those um, chateau looking Hotel de Ville. We like it. Behind me is the Collegial Notre Dame. This is one of the oldest buildings in the city. It actually celebrated its 1000th anniversary in 2016. It's a church that is in two mixed styles. There is a Roman style and there is a bit of a Gothic style as well. I find it very similar to Paris in the sense that um, this part of the city is also on an island and uh, there is also Notre Dame and it's also on the right of the side of the island. So it's kind of similar, it's like a miniature version of Paris because Paris has the same thing, same layout with Notre Dame over there and here there is Notre Dame on the island as well. Mm -hmm. 
Now the funny thing about it, you would think like, okay, an island in the center of the city, you would think, let's build something nice, right? No, behind me, behind me is actually a prison. This is a prison that's been around for over a hundred years in here. It's not going away anytime soon. Apparently the, the local government is trying to get rid of it. They're trying to move it somewhere else because the property value is, it's got to be amazing, you know, but um, currently it's a prison. So yeah. <laughs> That was the Prairie Sun server. It dates back to also I think the 9th or 10th century. And um, we're now going to a place where there used to be the Chateau de Murat. But unfortunately they demolished the, the chateau. So we're just gonna go there now. And we're just gonna see if there are any remains of the chateau. If there are any remains, yes. Yeah. Murat is also known Aside from being the capital of saint Emile, it also has its own variation of brie cheese, uh, brie de melun, and there is also a variation of miel, honey. Honey. Yes, so uh, we can't get the cheese now because everything is close to the, it. <laughs> it's, it's Sunday, but um, we've tried it before and it's really nice. It's very pungent, it's very strong. We just used to the botanic garden where there used to be a chateau before but unfortunately there is not even a remaining left So is this city interesting to visit? I think yes I think um, especially once everything reopens again I think you can come here during the afternoon and you can have a look at all of the architectural masterpieces that are here I like it, it's only 25 minutes away from the city you know during the nice weather you can really appreciate sitting by the Seine because the Seine is right here and uh, you know the, the city is really quiet the city is really quiet so um, I think it's a plus if you want to relax there are two huge dogs behind you let's go back 